This is a big weekend for a lot of reasons. Number one, we're about to drive to Columbia to find out the results of my short film Fool's Gold in the SC Young Filmmakers Project. So we are here and uh, we have a little time before we go in. I've been working on it for a couple months. It started in like January, February and finished in like March. And then we've just been waiting for the results of this. We worked very hard on it and planning it. Um, if you want to see it, I'll put the link in the description. No matter what happens today, I'm very excited and proud of what I was able to make. and. Um, it's probably the best thing that I've ever made. Whatever happens today is going to be great. It's just a celebration of the, the good work that's already been done. It was a lot of fun to film, and uh, it's kind of a mixture of two things that I love, running and um, theater. Acting. Acting, yeah. yes. Running and acting. I'm nervous. I'm very proud of my son. Let's do this. this competition last year and I wanted to take it a different direction than I had and I really wanted to go bigger and really wanted to do something with the city of Charleston and we thought wouldn't it be so cool if we could do like a chase through downtown Charleston when we were still in the early stage of, the, of this and didn't know it would be like a serious spy thing. I wanted there to be a scene where someone's like eating a sandwich or hot dog or someone and like the main runner comes and grabs it like Ferris Bueller or something. <laughs> I like the props. Um, they help you, you know, figure out what story you want to do. And I really, um, I'm proud of the title, how it, that really worked out with the two O's and fools. Like it just, I, it helps you go in a direction because when you're given the the option of anything, it's really hard to pick something that's like, this is gonna work. It's gotta be a, a good blend of production and story. Uh, sometimes I'll have an idea for a really cool shot and I'm like, how can I incorporate that into something? Or sometimes I think of a story and I'm like, all right, what's the best way to tell this? But I think in the end, the most important part is the story because no matter what types of like, cameras you have, you can have everything or just like your phone, like, and you can still tell a cohesive story that like can move people or like, so I think in the end story is the most important. Now we're going to announce the winners and we've got third place, Contrast. <laughs> Second place is going to pieces with you, Caitlin, Caitlin and Bella. <laughs> so it looks like we have a tie for first place. It goes to Remembrance. This one's a little spicy. It's Fool's Gold, Isaac My goodness is the mic on yes okay I can't I can't believe we did it again the the competition was really like tough this year like so much higher than last year a bunch like five of those films were better than ups and downs or, in my opinion oh my gosh I'm so happy right now I'm so proud of it and thankful uh, then after that we're actually driving to Atlanta to go jam out at a Coldplay concert On the streets of Atlanta, are so you excited? So excited.
That was insane. And then we're staying the night at Atlanta and then going to church somewhere the next morning. We've made it to the end of the weekend. It has been just an awesome experience. Again, I'm just so, so happy and excited about winning the Young Filmmakers Project again. That's just so awesome. Coldplay was awesome, church was awesome. It was just a great weekend. And I'm glad I could share it with you. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. God bless and goodbye.